First of all, um, when you have a problem in, in scoring goals, uh, you you have to you have to solve this problem step by step. So the first thing is always is always um, yeah to put a bit the pressure away with some good results and a good defense behavior, and that is completely sorted. Then it's about uh, to help the players to um, to dominate the games, to um, have situation where you are able to use chances in a pretty recreated situation so not only uh, with defending and then perhaps one chance in the game and there's so much pressure on, on you it's more like when you dominate the game it's quite easier to, to score goals uh, I think that's that's also sorted um, I think it's it's also important to, to create a lot of chances um, and um, when I when I think about the last games we had one against one situation on the goalkeeper two against one situation on the goalkeeper we had penalties and we missed so many chances uh, which is normally normally unbelievable headers out of four meters um, yeah, so I think we are right now in the in the position that we are able to cre create many chances. Um, when I think about the last game, there was perhaps just one game where we were not able to create many chances was uh, the game uh, at the Wolves. Uh, but at least we were able to score two times in, the, uh, in this game. But in all the other games, if it was the away games or the home games, we created uh, many chances. But yeah, there is one topic we have to, to score more goals. And... Um, yeah, like I mentioned before, so um, it was not only we spoke about that it's it's difficult when you when you lose key players. And when I think about um, in general about um, about my midfield um, in the last season, we had Johnny Housen six goals, we had Graham Jones six goals. Um, and when I look right now on the on the holy midfield position, um, Tom Tribal two goals. Um, Harrison Reed one goal, Alex Tetti nine goals, Mauro Francic nine goals. So we see there is a difference. We have to score more goals. And when I think about, um, we have no player with double figures after 34 games. Yeah, it's quite obviously uh, there. There is a problem when you, when you think about in the last season. Jacob Murphy was there with several goals. Uh, Alex Pritchard was there with several goals. They're both gone. Um, and we're struggling in, in scoring goals. When we we can look at the statistics. Nelson Oliveira is there with, um, I think, uh, eight goals right now. It's it's at least a solid um, uh, solid statistic for for a striker. Um, not world class. We have to be we have to be honest, but at least a solid statistics. Um, the most goals. Um, thank God, James Madison is, is outstanding with nine goals. It's it's pretty pretty good for a midfield uh, player. Yeah, but then we're struggling with scoring goals. So Josh Murphy, four goals. Um, at least he scores. Yeah, but then all the other offensive players. You look uh, at the statistics. Um, yeah, it's not so easy. So we can't judge uh, in the moment Dennis Beni and and Onel Hernandez because they're just there. But when you think of, uh, of all the other players, um, yeah, Cameron Jerome two goals, Stephen Naismith nine goals, Marley Watkins nine goals, Wes Hulahan nine goals. Uh, it's quite obviously where the problem is. And um, I think in general we thought so many things out and, and our football is really good but we have to bring the ball over the line and um, in the moment we have to be honest we we have 34 games and there was in this 34 games not one easy win not one easy win and when you want to be in the play fight for play uh, for promotion at least there must be a game within 34 games uh, when at least you play for example a team from the bottom of the uh, league there is perhaps then sometimes a 3 null or whatever and you got the feeling you know, no you don't have to be um, uh, fighting till the 96th minute to, to, to have a result so at least you need sometimes one one easy win but we didn't have one easy win because we are struggling in, in scoring goals and if we are really honest at the moment um, we have many many qualities defending possession creating chances but not the qualities to, to score and there's just one reason when you don't have the quality in the moment to score um, you have to improve you have to improve and there are just two two topics um, you can uh, you can do this to work on it yeah and that's that's my topic I work with my players I have um, uh, on, on, on this quality in scoring um, and I bring them a lot in, in finishing position um, I bring them a lot and, and we speak a lot about uh, being brutal and, and also keeping the enough but it's a difference um, to score on the training pitch or to score in front of 30,000 uh, people when you have the one against one situation uh, in front of the goalkeeper so we will work further on we try to improve it's also a topic to, to add this quality to the squad so 100% uh, also, also a solution and we have to keep this in mind uh, also for the next transfer window so um, we're not naive we know this um, 
but my topic is is always um, yeah I can I can dream about uh, some situation what we what we can add in this quality and and hopefully uh, we are able to to add some quality but um, if not then I have to improve my players I have and and to work on it and yeah that's a topic we will do in the next weeks and the next months and further on in the future. How far away do you mm. feel you mm. are now from putting a team out on the pitch you were completely your identity mm. what you want every mm. week? Mm. To be honest, it's, it's always a process, and there there won't be any time, any moment in the in the future where I say, "Listen, right now, this is a uh, this is a moment. Uh, is this exactly what I want?" Because f three or four days later is the next game, and I, we have to prove it again. So it's it's always a process, and you will always find some topics um, you you can improve. But um, I got the feeling in the beginning of the season uh, when we started, there was a big distance, uh, and right now. Um, I think it's it's not so far away in general how I want to play football because, for example, when I compare our home game, I think four months ago against Burton, uh, with the home game like right now against Bolton, it was the same result no, no, and perhaps the same type of opponent who sits back and try to uh, try to um, try to defend, defend happy with a with a draw, but I think these two games were completely um, different because when I think about Burton. We were speaking about okay, we had this one situation we could score, and um, yeah, if we score in this moment, then it would be per perhaps a win. But we were struggling and dominating the game. We were struggling and creating chances. And when I think about the the Bolton game right now, um, at least the first, at least the first half time was it looks like a team from a from a proper level against a, a team from a lower category. So there was a big big difference between us. Uh, and the opponent, and when I think about about games like Derby, we were much a better side um, against Derby County, who was um, 12 games unbeaten and, and sitting in this moment on position two in the table. We were even the better side um, at Wolverhampton Wanderers, who are clearly at the moment the best team in the in the whole league. Uh, we dominated Middlesbrough here at home, and um, although it was a perhaps a late equaliser against Ipswich, so there was no doubt that. Just one team tried to win this game, and the other team try anyhow to to defend and and um, yeah anyhow to to be there with with a lucky point. So in general, I think we we improved a lot in nearly all topics: defending, possession, controlling the game, counters, creating chances. In nearly all the topics, um, scoring is the last topic we have to to work on. And um, if we're able to score. Then we are we are really pretty close because I think um, yeah perhaps day off because uh, because uh, the game is off uh, perhaps we have some time to to philosophy a little bit about football um, in in my opinion football um, is the most unfair sport in the in the whole world that that's really my my deep believing and I tell you why because when you when you do sport like synchron swimming or figure skating. There's only the the guy or the girl who is does it in the most beautiful way will win. And if you if you run, the quickest guy will win. If you jump, the the guy um, who has the highest jump will win. Or if you throw, the guy who is able to throw the uh, the ball or whatever the most far uh, or the in the widest position they will win. That's quite normal. And even in team sports, when you play basketball. 100% always the better team wins because okay sometimes there's an unlucky situation but then it's not 100 to 80 it's perhaps 96 to 87 or something like this it's even the same with with handball because the result is 30 to 25 or whatever or in tennis there are so many points it's always in all sports always the better the, the better uh, the better team or the better player wins the game and in football it's just a result one uh, 2-1 or whatever it's not normal that you win a game 7-0 or whatever when you when you compete in uh, on one level and that's the reason it's for me it's the most unfair for sport because one goal is always determining and sometimes it's like um, although you're much uh, the worst opponent yeah you lose uh, you win this game or although you are the the better side you can lose the game because just one or two goals um, are de determining the game and I think there's no sport which is so unfair like football, but on the other hand, it's it's also uh, one of the reasons we like this game so much 
and it is like this we can't change it so it's not like we get uh, we get any goals for possession or for defending or for creating chances it's you have to put the ball over the line in this rectangle yeah and sometimes uh, you have to accept that although you are there with a really really good performance yeah the result is not the the right one and um, yeah that's difficult what was the question <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>